In today's lesson. Today we will learn how to insert a per chapter table of contents. Table of contents for every individual chapter in our book. The general overview. Step one, we will select the entire chapter. Next step, we will give that selection a name via bookmark so that Word can find it. There is a special table of contents field specifically for entering a chapter table of contents. We will find that, enter our bookmark name, and that will be that. Optionally, well, watch the companion video so you can find out how to format these new table of contents as we have inserted per chapter. That's enough of me. Let's go on and get on with the video. Okay, let's get started with our lesson. Inserting a per chapter table of contents. This is inserting only. Next video we will show you how to format your in chapter table of contents. Now first things first, we need two tools. We need to have the navigation pane Click View, Navigation Pane. The second tool we will need will be Home Paragraph Marks. Click the P. Now, on my document, I have already inserted the first master table of contents, the table of contents that comes at the front of the book. However, we want to insert a per chapter table of contents. Okay, first things first, let's go over to the Navigation Pane right click slide all the way down to show heading levels show heading one now we got all the clutter out of the way fish is our first chapter then comes cats dogs we can get to our chapters quickly now the first thing to do select your entire chapter you could do it this way but if you have a long document this is going to get messy fast let me show you the one-click chapter selection method. Go all the way down to the bottom of your window to Outline View. Click Outline View. Go all the way back up to the top, Show Level. From the menu, select Level 1. Pow! Gee, looks just like our navigation pane, and it navigation pane mirrors it. In Outline View, when I select my first chapter, I have selected my entire first chapter in one click. Now we selected our chapter. Let us insert our bookmark. Give it a name so that Word can find it. I recommend something short and short that you can remember because you're going to have to type these in again. Type in the name. Click Add. Select the next chapter bookmark, give it a name, something simple, simple you can remember, click add. Again, well, I'm only going to do three, let's just do three. We'll go third chapter, click bookmark, simple, easy to remember name, because you're going to have to type it in later, click add. Now we have selected and given a name, bookmark, to our chapters. Now let's get out of outline view look at dogs. See dogs is selected. When we go down to the bottom where it says print layout and click that, well look, dogs, the whole chapter is selected. All you have to do, just give it a click. Okay, that was just to show you that outline views did select the entire chapter. Let's go back to chapter one. Selection and entering bookmarks is done. Give a click for an insertion point wherever you want it to go in. Now let's find the specialty field for table of contents chaptering insert slide all the way over to quick parts now I know it's starting to sound strange now hang on click field okay that's getting closer click field slide this all the way down to TOC table of contents create a table of contents truly this is how word wants you to do it click field codes go next door Click Options. Go all the way up. Second choice, B. Uses a bookmark. Specify area of document from which to build a table of contents. Bingo, that's what we want. B, Add to Field. Click that button. Now here comes the part where you have to tell Word which chapter you want. 
In this case, we're at chapter one. We type in our bookmark name, fish. We're two clicks away. One click. Pow. And there we go. That's all there is to it. And you have to do that for every chapter. Now let me show you a quicker way. Left click to turn it gray. Select the whole thing. I just love copy and paste. Let's copy it. Go to the next chapter. Click your insertion point. I hold down control tab V to paste. Go to the next chapter. Find your insertion point. Control plus V to paste. Now we're not done. Left click, right click, edit field. Look familiar. Click field codes. Skip, skip, go all the way up. See, double click. Instead of fish, we're on the chapter three dogs. Type in my chapter name for dogs. Okay, and there we go. Let's go up a chapter. Left click, right click, edit field. Field codes all the way up. Fish. Let's give it the proper proper name for the chapter okay and there we go let's click home let's click P alrighty and there we go every chapter has its own table of contents and we still have a master table of contents up in front now that is how you insert your per chapter tables of contents in the next video I will show you how to format these so that they look a lot more professional and a lot more to be proud of but until then see you at the next video have you a good evening and enjoy <laughs>